I was just rather just using my Mordex setup, fam. The gauntlets and everything, the, the, the skin, the color, the gauntlets, it can't be a coincidence. I have to smack his head. Um, By the way, yeah, okay, there we go. <laughs> so, yeah, I say it can't be a coincidence. Um, Yeah, there was two things I could have talked about today. Uh, There were, there were a couple changes went on Uh, over the... Why was I going to say like over the weekend? It was yesterday. Oh, it's the middle of the week. It's like Thursday. Uh, Well, okay, yesterday. After BCX, basically, you know, because obviously... They, they, they had things, you know, cooking that, that they couldn't release until BCX had concluded. Because obviously, you can't change the game, you know, either before or during, like, the, the biggest tournament of the year. Um, and yeah, bro. Well, one of them uh, being actually to do with Brahala. Uh, they absolutely massacred the map pool, fam. It, they, they killed ranked. Like, ranked right now, you just don't want to be playing it. You show up, you don't want to be getting in that queue. Um, low key as well. I don't want to jinx it. But I've not queued King's Pass today. So I have like a like a sneaking suspicion they might have taken King's Pass out of the experimental queue, which is it would be wild if that actually happened, fam. I've been calling for that for years, for as long as I can even remember, fam. Days ruined. Cars broken down because of King's Pass. You know, if you know then then you know. But the other thing actually nothing to do with Brahala. But um after BCX, right? Obviously. Certain players, certain teams didn't, didn't you know, uh, achieve the results they were after. Um, and, and, you know, domestic abuse ensued, you know. Y your parents, you come home, your parents throw plates and, you know, cutlery at each other, knives. Basically, that's what happened. Uh, I made a video before going over, um, a, a, you know, a very established EU team, a very, um, a beloved EU team, you know, breaking up. Uh, and it, w it was a sad day, sad day for all. One of the most fun teams to watch as well. And when I made that video, everyone was like, oh, my days for a second. You know, I read the title and I thought, Acno Blaze split up. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm delivering the bad news to you today. Your parents have indeed divorced. Um, and yeah, they're, they're, they're no longer a team, which is crazy. Uh, but I mean, I guess kind of makes sense when you look at who Blaze is teaming with now, being, being Godly, you know, because Godly literally won BCX with some, you know, NA brother who he's never teamed with before, never played with before, but won the world championship with him, so... Yeah, Acno Blaze split up. By the way, I know it's fucking dark. Yeah, you know, subscribe. Subscribe to the channel and you get what I'm saying? I'll, I'll, I'll join the government. I'll control the fucking weather, bro. I'll, I'll, because, you know, time zones are fake. And obviously, the government sets the sun and, you know, rises out the moon. So I will put a stop to that shit as soon as possible. When my first plan of action. So definitely fucking subscribe to the channel. You know, I need power to, to, to join that position. Anyway, um, what would the fuck was I say? Oh, yeah, Blaze was the one. Uh, actually leading the leading the, the charge you know filing filing the divorce papers which is it's crazy bro i can't lie um like, i'm not even gonna sit here and you know chat about this the you know the whole fucking video because it's it's minor well i mean in terms of rahala it's obviously not minor it's, it's acting blaze splitting up but you know in terms of my life you know it's like it's not i'm not gonna lose sleep over it you know but it is crazy it's definitely fucking crazy you know out of every single like 1v1 tournament streak 2v2 tournament streak whatever tournament streak right like winning streak i'm i'm talking about obviously um acno blaze have the, the the longest one and it's not even close bro it's like i think they won every tournament for like two years straight bro maybe even three years their, their streak was ridiculous and now they're just no longer a team because they didn't win bcx bro butterfly effect i'm telling you you know acno was i guess i don't even know bro because i can say Personally, I remember Akno complaining about Blaze, saying like uh, Blaze been playing too much Valor and not practicing Brawl. But Blaze ended up dropping Akno, so you know maybe the tides turn. Akno playing too much. Uh, I don't know, man. What 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 do the what do people play these days? Roblox, Brahala Roblox. You know, I would give up Brahala dominancy to become dominant. Uh, bro, I actually need to play. Like obviously, um, not seriously, but like for the channel, I need to play that fucking. Uh, my weapon should have hit him there. I don't care. I know it already hit him, but it should have hit him again. It's a fucking piss tape. I need to play that Roblox Rally game, bro. Because it looks so unbelievably shit that it is like it would be so good. It would be so good, bro. I pray it would be better than Brahala. Just because of how bad it is. It is one of those. It, it looks that way anyway. I hope it's so shit that it's bad anyway, and it's not just straight up bad. Because well that would that would just be really disappointing, in my opinion. Um but anyway, yeah, that's 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 basically it, bro. Acno Blaze split up. I mean, there's other teams that split up too. Which you, you probably, if you're not European, but I don't know. I feel like Acno Blaze being a team, that's not just like a European thing, bro. That's like like a lot of people enjoy watching Acno Blaze. Um, but Snowy Luna no longer a team. 
maiden experience. That's the, like the the NA Acno Blaze. Well, not not really, is it? You know, I'll re 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 Raggy. <laughs> I'll rematch him because he's diamond and and bro, my key's been shit lately. So we'll get some, get some decent games in here. Um, but yeah, experience made. No longer a team. It's kind of crazy. Just all these teams fucking broke up after BCX. Like, bro, no loyalty. Snakes in the grass. Keep your grass trimmed. Rule number four of the channel, actually. I need to, bro. I've been too. I need swat. He locked in the great sword, bro. I might, I, I might actually leave the game. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll roll with it. Uh, but I'm being too lenient. Well, and I get that. Uh, this, this is. If everyone, anyone's been ever wondering, yeah, why, why I keep King's Pass in my rotation, even though I complain about it so much. It's because this is the map I have banned. It's not even because it's an it's an ass map, which it is like a really shit map. Don't get me wrong, but it's because it's so fucking ugly, bro. Like like objectively, maybe it's not ugly, but as in like it's so like not vibrant. Like it's just it makes me feel depressed playing on this map, fam. Like I, I would rather play on King's Pass. I mean, you know, realistically, whenever I get either of these maps, I just I leave instantly anyway. So yeah, that was always my tactic: ban this map because I feel like oh well, okay, that just should kill. You know? Maybe Bo's ass. Maybe Bo needs buffs. Um, I'm joking. But, you know, my, my, my theory was always like... The brothers are going to have King's Pass banned. So I can ban this one and then get away with having like two two bans in one if you think about it. But like I said, bro, I don't think I have King's Pass banned right now. And it's we've not queued it. Still. So I, I actually think maybe they got rid of it. Because um, I've been seeing some new maps in Experimental Queue. Like brand new maps. Like maps that at the very least I don't think have ever been in the game before. So... They've been doing some weird shit with the maps. Like I said, I'll talk about that tomorrow, though. Um, but, um, yeah, for today, like I said, just loads of teams. Loads of teams piss out, bro. Gone. No fucking, no dedication. You know what I'm saying? Just a couple of L's and, and they're gone. I mean, like, Akno Blaze, bro. I don't know why. Like, that's because... Because, yeah, Godly Blaze are going to win everything now. Yeah, they're, they're, your, they're your 2024 BCX champions before the tournament's even happened, bro. Before we're even in the year of 2024. It's, it's obvious. But... It's like, I mean, it would be jokes if whoever the like, Acno teams with, which I think it should be blue, you know? I think Acno blue would be a, be a good team. I think that it would be fucking jokes, man. Their first tournament in the year, they just lose. Like, that would be, obviously, you don't want to see that. But if you're Acno, it's like, bro, it feels like, yeah. I don't know if anyone's going to relate to this, but as an Oklahoma City Thunder fan, and as someone who watched the entire season, bro, and, and with my own eyes, I, I saw us get reverse 3 one in the playoffs. And then KD leaving, going through his, his cupcake arc, you know, cupcake era. You know, my next chapter. And then just going and, go and joining in fucking Golden State Warriors. And that's basically what Blaze did, you know. That's what all these teams are doing right now. That's why you can't respect it. But at the same time, it's going to be a very good fucking team. So it's like, you, you have to respect it, you know. But we'll see. We'll see, you know. Maybe maybe they don't work out and maybe, you know, I can play Blaze team up again. But I just think that, like, they, they, they could have gotten back to being, like, unbeatable right like if they'd have just practiced because that's like years of synergy you know like have it like how you know bro having two years of brahala synergy is one that is not like do you get what i'm saying i wouldn't want to admit that to anybody in my real life because that's like bro you could have spent two years doing anything two two why am i saying two years i'm because i'm thinking of their like winning streak but it's more than two years bro they've been teaming for like five fucking years fam you know it's like you could have done a lot more in five years so i wouldn't really want to admit that but two it's like, bro, at that point, it's sunken cost fallacy. Do you get what I'm saying? If you fucking... It's like the Brawler Battle Pass. You bought it, so you have to do all the missions. Even though you hate it, bro. Even though it's a grind. You have to grind, but it's, you have to fucking do it. Also, notice how that game was so much more boring. Yeah, okay. Well, you can't be paused from down on me, fam. You wait till he joins the room. Wait till he joins the room. I'll show you the fucking tech right now. Go room, pussy. Just like that. Out my room, bitch. Um... You see how BCX happens? Greatsword wins and all these fuckers are on Greatsword, bro. I hate it. I hate it so much, bro. I would have rather Mordex won again. Or Sandstorm won again on, on whatever legend he was playing. Actually, is he playing Tezgar? Yeah, in that case, I don't want to be playing. I'd actually prefer playing against Greatsword and Boots. And that's saying something. Because fuck this Greatsword weapon, fam. Absolute full of fucking STDs. Um, okay. I mean, I'm just not dodging, so I can't even, can't even complain, really. Uh, but yeah, it's like, bro, sunken cost fallacy. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 all that fucking time invested, you, you might as well just just get good again. Just grind together. And it's like, you'll retain all the synergy, but you, you'll get better at the game again. So it's like, I don't know. I mean, there's, there's a reason for everything. Like I said, I, I don't... Acno Blaze. Oh, 
sorry, godly blades, they just win everything from now on, I think, automatically anyway. So ultimately, I guess it doesn't matter for blaze or godly, but just for Akno, it's a bit, it's a bit peak, you know? Um, I'll be pissed, bro. That's a, that's a solid source of income right there. Gone, you know? Rent is going to be due, I think. Unless, um, will, will Brahalla players have invested? Okay, well, there we go. Will Brahalla players have invested their money or will they have spent it all on Mammoth Coins? I, 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 I know the answer, uh, but I, I hope, I hope I'm wrong, you know, and, and he, you know, rent won't be due, and hopefully he already has a house, uh, but, yeah, other than that, I, I got, I got nothing, nothing else to talk about in, in relation to, to this game of Brahalla, bro, um, I was gonna say, I think I'm actually autistic, I need to come out and say that right now, um, or maybe not, I mean, it might be an over-exaggeration, but, bro, there's so much shit I do that, I just feel like a fucking idiot for. Okay, so it, I, I clocked it this morning, right? I, I went to make my breakfast, okay? There was a tiny bit of milk left. And I'm sure there's absolutely nothing wrong with, like, mixing milk. As in, like, you know when you open a milk, right? You open a jug of milk and it's like, you use it all, but then you get right to the end of it and there's not enough at the end to use it for, for like, you know, anything other than, like, something you use a small amount of milk in. Like, for me, an omelette, right? So like an omelette, I can use like a small amount of milk in. But realistically, it's... Because something else, what else do I use milk for? Porridge or oatmeal, if you want to call it that. I don't know. Um, like that, obviously, if you just have a tiny little... Little little, 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 little spatter, little, little drip of milk in the in the bottom of the jug, you, you can't make a whole bowl of fucking... Of oatmeal, you know, of porridge. I'm going to call it porridge from now on, because... Oatmeal just it feels wrong. It feels really wrong. Um... So obviously you have to then open the next next like you know jug of milk, carton of milk. But then it's like, bro, that other one with just like the little you know piss triplets at the end left in it, it just never gets fucking used. Because like I said, if I'm not making anything like an omelet where you know you only need a small amount and there would be enough in there to use it, it's like I don't want to mix the new and old milk. But that's such like a fucking stupid spastic thing. Like, I don't know why, I, I don't know. So today, I, I just, you know what I'm saying? I, well, I made a fucking omelette and I, I used the last of it instead of just being a normal, regular human being and, you know what I'm saying? Using the last of the fucking milk together with the new milk. It just feels wrong to do that. I don't know. Uh, maybe it's just me, man. Maybe it's just me. It probably is just me if we're being, being honest with ourselves. Um, I'm actually going to lose this game, by the way. I didn't even clock like how close it is. Okay, and both can't kill. Oh, okay, no, that one should have hit. But this doesn't feel like a close game. I don't know. I don't know. I'm telling you right now, though. And trust me when I say this, yeah? That little fucking, you know what I'm saying? The rations at the end of the milk carton. It lasts forever. It's a fucking, it's a hack, bro. It lasts, like, because you think there's, like, such a tiny amount in there, yeah? Oh, you can make 50 omelets, that little thing, or, like, cups of tea. That's what I'm saying. I don't drink tea. I, well, I mean, I drink tea, but I don't drink, like, British tea, you know? So, I, I don't have milk in my tea. I just drink green tea, which is, like, maybe surprising for some of you to hear, considering I'm British, and that means by law, you know, I'm required to drink tea. I mean, I'm still drinking tea, though, so, you know, I'm free from prison for now. Free from the from the shower stuffings, you know, meat between my cheeks and all of that. Um, pause. I mean, I say, like, it can't have meant anything else, so, like, I'm saying it's an obvious pause to make, but I still have to pause for that one, I think. Anyway, um, what else was I going to talk about, bro? I don't even know. The other things I do that just make me feel like, a, like I'm, you know what I'm saying, artistic is like, okay, if you don't remember, I talked about this ages ago, but I, I only ate the same breakfast every single day for like over 10 years of my life, easily over 10 years. I don't know how many years exa exactly. I'm not going to sit here and, and deep it and think about it, but over 10 and bro, only when I would eat my breakfast, yeah, and this breakfast, by the way, it included two pieces of toast, okay? Um, and, like, this is the only time I would ever eat toast like this, but, I mean, I guess this is just from my childhood, and it's like, because I did it when I was a child. What is this brother doing? Because I did it when I was a child, I guess I just never grew out of it. I don't know, but, like, obviously, I wasn't going to cafes or whatever and eating toast like this, but, you know, just during this breakfast, bro, I would eat all the, the crust off the toast, like... Uh, but then I would leave the top of the crust because that's like your handle, you know, it's like your toast handle. Otherwise, like you're putting your fingers on the, on the fucking Nutella or jam or butter or whatever the fuck, you know, you've 
glazed your bread spread your bread with oh it's like glazed um so yeah obviously you need to leave the top crust as, as the handle but i would bite off you know all the corners and then all the straight bits and i would eat it the exact same way every single day bro and i, I never actually clocked how much of a freak i am but you know i thought about it once again when i was thinking about the milk this morning bro i was like bro i was actually there's so many things i do that it's just it's just unnecessary why why the fuck did i always used to do that i really don't know i can't i'm ending the video there i was gonna play another game but it's, it's like it's getting too dark the, the bed you see the bando fucking trap house bed in the background is fading so um yeah i'll end it there uh bro another thing i would do is and i still do now is cutlery yeah if i have clean cutlery like like you put it on the what's it called the dish rack the like the drying rack you know you wash the dishes and then you put the the, the wash dishes to dry yeah so they're clean, right? But every single time before I use cutlery, and I don't do it with bowls or plates, so it literally doesn't make sense. But I guess you're not directly eating off the... But you are. I don't know. But knives, forks, spoons, I will run hot water and I'll run them under hot water again before I use them. And there's no reason for it. Even if I've personally cleaned it and I know it's completely clean, I will still... I don't know why, bro. I guess that's maybe from my childhood too. Because probably I just did that because like I didn't wash the dishes so I didn't trust them or something or like do you know what I'm saying maybe I found a, a sneaky bit of a bit of yesterday's dinner hole too on the, on the on the dishes if my my mum or dad weren't feeling particularly you know what I'm saying investigative you know taking pride in their dishwashing so I don't know but there's so much shit like that that I do and it makes me feel like a fucking idiot I thought I'd tell you like, hopefully you can relate to at least one of them but you won't you won't but you know if someone can then respect. Uh, anyway, I'll think of a hint for you zooming in on, and I will, I, will, I will end the video there. Shout out to the channel members before. You know what I'm saying? I lose all visibility on my camera. It is actually, by the way, 4.49pm. I, I don't know, man. Okay, hint for you zooming in on um, will be Helen Keller. And then let me shout out the channel members. Moro, Mike Brandenburg, Eric Sok, John Wall, Pokey Sushi, Fish Sticks, Tude, Atomon, Nova Ruffles, Ashman Singh, Kenji, Jigo, Equus, No Glory. Bargain Builds, Fatshaw, Raskari, Dylan Jelly, Hegemony X9, McD, Red Room, Lighter, Brandon Murray, Mike's Podcast, Tech Code RT, Alpha MC, Pentacle, Slush, Lacan, Atomic Wall, Luzio, Hammy, Awesome, Controller Mods, The Fat Milk, Andy Nocturne, Junk Dog, Flashy, Color for Alchemy, King, Luca, Dodge the Dolphin, Captain Lol, I, Coming, and Jay. And my dog is trying to shout out the channel members too. Respect for that. Um, by the way, I, Coming is, is I Swallow, well, I Swallow Edit. Yeah, see, I thought I was free, but no. I knew there was something about that name, fam. It was, it was fishy, it was suspicious. Uh, extra special thank you to, to, to Red Room, Brandon Murray, and Luca for the Diamond Tier memberships. Fucking insane. I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful for all of you. I mean, you know this by now, bro. I've said it a million times, okay? From me to you, as, as a person, not as a YouTuber, as, as, as the prick sat here, you know, behind the, behind the fucking monitor, editing this video right now, probably. Uh, thank you so much. Um, I really, really am truly grateful for you all. Everyone else, leave a like, subscribe. And until next time. Hopefully you have a good rest of your days. I love you all. You pricks. And peace.